Hey YouTube, um, this is my 2022 on the Grom. A um, few little modifications to it. Um, I'll do a review very shortly on the YSS suspension. Um, I did the fork kit and I did the rear shock um, as well. And it's the rear shock with the adjustable rebound on it. Um, there's a few other mods I've made to the bike, but namely this video is about resetting the ECU. Um, I've upgraded to a Chimera intake. Um, I'm waiting on an ECU from Cameron Jones, uh, and until that gets here, um, I just thought I'd show you, because it uh, I found it quite hard to find some information on it, uh, how to reset the ECU on the bike. Um, and it's really easy. You just need a screwdriver and a paper clip, uh, and the plug that you need to access is just under the seat. So um, I'll just pop the seat off. Really simple process. Seats off, and now we need access to this little red plug here. Um, and literally to get it out, you just pop your finger under here. You might need the screwdriver to lever it, um, but if you pull this plug up, this lever up, you can pull the plug apart. It pops out like that. There are four wires in this plug. Um, the two that you're interested in are the green and the blue. Okay, they're the top two wires there. Um, and they are in the red strip there, the outside two contacts in the red strip there. So um, I'm just gonna get my paper clip now and I'm gonna pop it into here. I'm just gonna put my phone down while I pop these in. One sec. So once you've shorted these two wires out, remember it's the blue and the green. Make sure you push your cable, uh, your paper clip down there good and solid. Uh, come to the dash of the bike. Make sure your run switch is on. Open your throttle all the way up. This is how it knows to reset its uh, throttle position sensor. Uh, and you'll know if you've done it right, because when you turn on the key, hang on. Your engine management light will stay on and then start to flash rapidly. Release your hand off the throttle, let it return, uh, and it will start to flash slowly. That has now reset the ECU. Turn the ignition off. Remove your paper clip. Pop your plug back into its holder. It li literally is only a holder um, to keep it safe. Pop on your seat. Uh, and you are good to go. Um, you can now start your bike. Your ECU has been reset. Um, it'll it'll take about they say about 30 miles. That's about 50 kilometers for the bike to do a full reset and relearn all its base settings. But what it'll do is if you've changed an exhaust um, or if you've changed your intake, um, it will start to recompensate for the extra airflow that there's through the bike and it'll add a bit of extra fuel. Um, it's not as good as doing a tune, of course, um, and that's why I'm going for the Cameron Jones ECU, um, which I said before will arrive in a few days. But at least uh, until that point, uh, it's not gonna be too bad on the fuel. So uh, yeah, keep watching, maybe subscribe. Um, there's gonna be some more updates coming. I've got a few extra mods I wanna make to the bike. It's already looking pretty good, um, but yeah. Until then, watch this space. Cheers.